honest. You have to be a little crazy to leave everything you know, hazard an ocean, and begin a life in a new frontier wilderness. You have to be a little crazy to start a war with the greatest military empire in the world. You have to be a little crazy to begin a whole new form of government that has never been tried in the world before. Americans have always been just a little bit crazy, but innovation, by definition, means that you are willing to take the chance to do something that nobody else has ever done before. And it was that rugged individualism and American exceptionalism in pursuit of a manifest destiny that has always been the winning message for an American way. And when John Kennedy was asked why he wanted to go to the moon and explore a new frontier, he replied, why does Rice play Texas? We do it not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And with that bold spirit to go where no man had gone before, it was his hope that that effort would provide the stimulus and incentives to do that and all of the other things in the next decade. And the world truly is a different place today than it was in the 1960s. Virginia's 8th Congressional District is a race where a bookie would not lay odds on a Republican picking up a seat. And so you may have noticed that there has been no Republican congressman since 1990. And the margin of loss has only gotten wider every year, with the incumbent Don Beyer winning the highest victory margin in history during the 2018 midterms. A popular definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing over and over again, but expect a different result. But despite the fact that no Republican presidential nominee has won in Arlington since the 1980 election, and the last Republican mayor of Alexandria was back in 1872, it is very, very possible that doing things a little different for Republicans is not as crazy as it sounds. And victory is always a good thing. And by definition, life is winning in America. And so in November, it is a referendum election where you have the power to choose between the party of manumission, slavery, oppression, Jim Crow, and subjugation, or to choose the party of emancipation. In November, you have the power to choose between the party of welfare entitlement and government dependency, or the party of opportunity. In November, you have the power to choose between the party of underperforming public schools and achievement gaps or the party of school choice. You have the power to choose between the party of mandatory union membership or the party of a right to work. You have the power to choose between the party of universal socialized medicine or the party that will let you choose your provider and your doctor and your insurance plan. In November, you have the power to choose between the party of awaiting the arrival of law enforcement or the party of the right to stand your ground and defend yourself. In November, you have the power to choose between the party of higher taxes and growing bureaucracies or the power of lower taxes and self-determination. It is your party and it is your choice. I am a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order and I am not ashamed of the gospel <laughs> my name is Major Mike Webb and crazy as it sounds I am running for U.S. Congress. 
with liberty, honor, and excellence. By God, we shall make America great again. Honest. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb. I used to be a Power Ranger in a former life. Your Honor, you were serious about that? Honest. <laughs>